Hey, this is Nate with Nanotech Coatings, and uh, I'm going to go over some basic maintenance for your high volume, low pressure sprayer. It's always good to clean out your sprayer after each use. And, uh, and of course, uh, as you're using the product, if you have any remaining product in your can, of course, you want to either apply it or if there's no need to apply the remaining product, return it back into the, uh, the cannon from whence it came. Um, now, what we use for our, uh, to clean out our sprayers is acetone, which is what you, you will use with any solvent-based product. So once your can is clean, clear of any remaining product, pour some acetone into the can, which I have already done so with this sprayer. I've probably got about an inch to an inch and a half of acetone in the can. Uh, I like to give it a little swirl just to kind of get some of the uh, you know, residue that might be remaining inside the can. And go ahead and just spray your sprayer for three to five seconds is probably sufficient. Just enough until you get the remaining product out of the nozzle and acetone uh, flowing through to, to assist with the cleanout. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, it's a good idea to leave a small amount of acetone in, in your gun and that will uh, that will just prolong, you know, the the life uh, of your of your sprayer, and, uh, and that's really all there is to it. If you uh, if the tip starts to to get clogged up, you can always remove it and let it soak in acetone for a period of time. You know, if if the holes begin to get clogged, and uh, that's basic cleanup for your high volume low pressure sprayer.